So what's a pirate ship without a cannon? Oh. Your theory on bananas is totally wrong. Oh, on there. Uh, you know. it's oh, a it's a crappy. Maybe we can have a crappy breakfast. <laughs> oh. You know, that ice fishing. Oh, there, there we go. Now we got breakfast. There we go. Now you're big one. Ready? Oh. There. <laughs> That's a good setup you got for the boat here with this. Isn't that great? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, uh, with a whole stringer of them. Yeah. Two pogey. Boat's starting to fill up with fish here. We got them all over the place. Okay. Keeper. I'm happy. You made my day. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Okay, we're off to the pirate ship. We're gonna take the uh, kayaks here and spend a night or two on the pirate ship out there. Okay, we're at the ship. Got the gear in. Gonna tie these up and away we go. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever been on a pirate ship. Zach's gonna give us the tour. Show me around the ship. Yeah, so got our main deck if you haven't already seen it in my videos from the water world one you know now we're going out on it so it's greg is here it's been two months so it's late fall it's october 25th or something so greg and i are going to spend a couple nights on it we made some modifications since the series we've got cabinets we got all our cooking accoutrement our water filtration right there in the center so that uh, has ceramic filters so we can drink the lake water cleanly and or use it for cooking mm -hmm. and uh I mean, not have to worry about boiling it for 10 minutes. We got fishing, fishing poles, poles, nets. Net. Uh, behind the door, uh, over here, we got more poles, little pole holders and stuff, little solar lights, the back cabin. Back cabin, the, the sleeping the, the, quarters. The, yep, poop cabin, so this is it, as it's called <laughs> in the ship terms. The poop deck is up top, and then we got the poop cabin. I don't know, I didn't name it, that's what they named it. So we got, now we got bunks in here. Like Chris and I slept out in hammocks on the deck. Did you? Yeah, Oops. yeah, between the two uh, sections there. Oh yeah. Yeah, but now we got a bunk for Greg, a bunk for myself, and then check this out. So if, and this is another reason why it's for the poop cabin. So if you got a poop, we actually have a toilet, like we had during the adventure. You open that up oh, yeah. and there's your toilet. And you just hop in there, lift that up. You open this up, you make sure you hit the hole. And then once you're done, you give it a couple cranks with the foot turn. I mean, it's called a composting toilet, but it's technically that it just, you you have coconut stuff in there, right? Coconut brick, and you mix it with that. And then after it's been in there for a little while and you've used it enough that you're like, okay, now it's time to change it. And it doesn't smell at all in here. No. It, you smell it? No. No, it's good, right? I'm still gonna put a vent in that cabinet and vent it a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe even a little solar fan. So like during the summer when it's hot, but we didn't notice anything when Chris and I were doing this. Mm -hmm. So it was good. So it doesn't compost it in that. You take it out of there and you put it into a compost from there and you pour the pee goes into a separate thing and you put that out and um, you put that in somewhere else. So if you keep them separate, the toilets don't get disgusting. And that that's the trick to it, not stinking. We got all the amenities. It's uh, a little inconvenient. I, once I finish the, um, the cushions, uh -huh. they, they, this won't, uh, you'll be able to like pop the cushions up and they'll have sewn covers. Right now we just got sheets. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like, oh, you got to make a big mess. So we got the engine box with our little 25 horse Mercury. Kayaks tied up to the back. Yep. Underneath the Greg uh -huh. is the Four Patriots power pack. That's our power to power the lights and everything. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more compartment over here, which I won't bother to lift up. No. Underneath the here, there's another compartment. You know, that one has the batteries and some storage or deep storage kind of thing. This one has the gas tank in here. And so that's kind of vented into the engine compartment and the line runs to the engine from there. We got our nice little back window. We let some nice air and stuff. And so then up top. This is where you drive. Yeah, we got a cannon up on that end. Cannon on the top. Which works. Hey, we got to fire it. Yep. We'll we, fire it. We got our solo stove for fires and a cooking wok. So this thing is awesome. This is what we're going to do all our cooking on for the most part. Nice big mm -hmm. wok top. Jim. Jim, my first mate. <laughs> he doesn't say much. 
<laughs> I mean, he does. Well, he did in your video. Yeah, he, he does. He's kind, of, he's kind of rude, so we don't let him talk. Well, Jim, what do you think? Are we going to catch some fish? Yeah, I'm going to look for that this lake. <laughs> Jim, looks like you sprung a lake there, buddy. The privacy would be nice. How are you managing that? I don't know. You don't always have to film me when I go to the bathroom, you weirdo. <laughs> if we can help it. And we got our pirate wheel. And Greg, this was the little add-on Greg did to make it look at more piratey. Yeah, I just wrapped this with rope. And now we gotta open this up and see if we can't get the, the fish finder in here. All right, that. Huh? All right. Oh, and the ground's broke. Mm. Oh, there's Grant. Oh yeah? What are you doing? I don't know. You gonna check on him? <laughs> Waving at him duct tape mm -hmm. there we go make sure what she ain't i forgot to repair this before we came out <laughs> it needs a new oh. stand i lost the stand during our adventure and i still haven't purchased a new one but that duct tape seems to be doing the job so we're good now we just got to find some fish there we go there we go all right we're ready let's fire it up Start it's right so up. far behind us you can almost can't, you can't even hear it yeah all yeah. right, we are ready. You want to pull the anchor? Yep, and you can just set it right there. No. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. The it's all kayak's good. okay? They should be okay. As long as the ropes aren't too long. Yeah, they're fine. They just swing around and stuff. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they kind of bang around, but. Yeah. Okay. Feeling butter. You're all shaky. What's wrong? You don't like to be a pirate? You don't want to be a pirate? Don't jump off. Stay here. Yeah. Well, I figure I may as well throw a line in. We're not going too fast. See what happens. You just never know. You can always tell when you, your uh, spinner is moving properly, it vibrates. Cool. That's me, uh... Oh, what's going on here? Ah, uh, maybe bottom. stop and float for a sec but I'm gonna rig up but there's all kinds of fish activity everywhere probably just white perch but, yeah, but those are good eats. you like the good eats some white yeah. perch eats How deep is it here? Uh, 36 okay. uh, with the alewife going out to sea right now these little guys being white like this and I feel like these would be the king Right now, it'd be huge. Let's see. There we go. That looks pretty nice. We'll see if that catches us something. Greg, you brought bananas on the boat. Ah, yeah. oh, you don't know that bananas ruin. You don't bring bananas on a boat. You can't catch fish. <laughs> We're screwed. There we go. We are anchored, we can just fish or troll our way around the island, which is, I think, what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fish from up top. There we go. I've had, uh, Really good luck at this spot sometimes, and really bad luck at this one spot. Oh, 
<laughs> one came up. Oh, I just about had him. Right he there. hit it right at the surface. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, a white perch? I think it was. It looks like it. Fish on. Might need your help landing it. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Ready? Oh! Hey! There! Did you plan that? Yeah, I saw the bucket and I'm like, hey, why not drop it right in the bucket? There we go. Got one white perch. Watch out, because you start. No, 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 careful. Butter's like, I will help. Okay, you're good. Time. All right, good. <laughs> I knew that little white guy with the uh, the alewife in here and stuff like that. They're used to seeing them. They've spawned and now they're probably bigger than this, but they, there might be a little small one here and there. Head back out to sea, so that white, shiny, little soft plastic. Here we go, I'm gonna motor down the way, see if we can't find that uh, crappy spot and catch some crappy. Greg still hasn't had a crappie, crappy, crappy, however they call them. I don't want to go to a crappy spot. You don't want to go to a crappy spot? You want to go to a good fishing yeah, spot? To to no, you want to go to a crappy, crappie, however they say it. We're still, I would, I'd still think it's more fun to say crappy. See if we can't get them on one of those. We'll really make this a pirate ship adventure awesome, huh? Well, that's what we want to do. Yeah, and if not, even if we only got that one white perch here, we got we got steaks from Aaron. He gave us some, uh, some uh, what was it, moose steak or deer? Moose steak, moose steaks. We got some moose steaks and uh, some other fancy stuff to go with that so we can make it delicious stuff on the solo stove. All right, I see a bunch of fish on the fish finder here. Yep, yeah. but they're probably small stuff, again, the white perch. I figured we work our way along the shore here and see what we get. No. We can throw the anchor over. We found a little spot yep. for the night. You think I have to adjust the line or what do you oh, think? Oh no, just chuck it over for now. Okay. Maybe don't chuck chuck it no. just because we don't want to scare too many people. Well, well it's just... <laughs> too, late. too late for that. It's a little late for that. Oh, uh, we'll probably have to let the line out. Yeah. So it's not yeah, because it's just yet. going straight down. We're in 22 feet. I found a nice little hole in the fish finder. It seemed like this is where we passed over when Greg caught his crappy and he just lost his map spinner, so maybe I'll have to dive for that in the morning. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't have my yeah. goggles. But maybe if we cruise by slowly, we'll see it stuck to the reeds right there, because it's just in front of us. And I'll turn the trolling motor off. There we go. And we are home for the night. We can set up and start doing some vertical jigging, get the fire going, and have ourselves a good old time. Oh, right in the lake. My little spring set all set up. What do you think, Butter? We gonna catch a fish like this? My little springboard I made. Rod sits there, tip goes in there, fish hits it, boink, sets the hook. Let's see what we can do. Greg's got one over there going on, just a regular. Down with the treble. Right, Butter? You smell fish? We gonna do good? Three did good. And cook from Jay Siemens. The 
got that cooking over here. Put a cup of beef. We're doing our uh, crappy, eh? I'm gonna make you a crappy meal. <laughs> <laughs> That never gets old. I don't know. The kids love it. The yeah. girls, my girls are like, oh, should we have a crappy day, Dad? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That works really well. That's a good setup you got for the boat here with this. Isn't that great? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's uh, really good. Well, okay, this is going to be good. I have caught four different species here. The perch, the chain, the uh, pickerel, bass, and now I got a crappie. So I'm keen to try it. He says it's even better in the white per oh, perch, yeah. which I really liked. Yeah, there's nothing so, wrong with that white perch. I don't know why people don't go out and just like harvest them by the buttload every year and have them. They're so spiny. I think that's why people don't really get into it. Uh, yeah. They get all like, they're just frustrated with it. No. Uh, so we're not we're not gonna have a lot of bone in here, eh? No, none, none at all. There's no bone. No bone. That's it's clean. Great. See, that's one thing that's you notice this is different about the crappie. Check this out. See, that's the belly. There's still a big hunk of meat on the belly. So whereas yeah. even the biggest white perch, you wouldn't get that big piece of meat like that. Mm -hmm. But there's also the belly meat. Like there's a whole chunk of meat there. Yeah, I see that. So that's quite a bit. Yeah. So. There you go. Cool. Asparagus to go with this. You want the uh, tzatziki okay. on it? Um, you had butter in here. I just like yes, there's salt. butter already in it. I guess I could try a bit of this. Well, maybe put it on your plate and then you dip it into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If because if you fold it over and then. Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's gonna be good. Okay, you got a bit of salt. It's a fancy Japanese salt stuff. <laughs> it's made with only uh, certain type only of seaweed salt. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sea salt, sea but salt. from a certain seaweed they pull out of the ocean oh, and right. let it dry on the seaweed yeah. so it takes on that flavor a bit and then they shake it, uh, boil cool. it free of the seaweed or something like that and oh, yeah. you get this really fancy, a really expensive salt. There we go. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Oh yeah. This is going to be good. Guaranteed. Made some tzatziki the other day. That turned out so good. I'm going to douse it. Just such a cool, turned out oh, so yeah. good. Uh, Lord, thank you for the crappy and Greg getting to visit and uh, just bless us with more fish and more fun and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. All right. You going to try a it? Taste test of the fish. I don't want to put any of this on because yeah, I just want right? to taste the actual fish. Here we go. Mm hmm. That's good. It is really good. Mm -hmm. And no bones in it, he says, so mm. I like that idea. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. That is probably the best of the four fish. Yeah, so far, yeah, right? So far. I think that's even a little bit better than the white perch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because white perch are good, but you don't get as much so mm. no i like the texture i like the flavor mm. if they were bigger what a mess <laughs> <laughs> and i i went Here. and stuck my paper towel in my pocket so <laughs> like i can't get at it <laughs> mm. oh this is great zach really like that fish I don't think there's much better for fish than this. That mackerel was pretty good. The mackerel was good too. We'll have to do that for the video tomorrow if we get some mackerel and we go out to sea. Mm -hmm. I made a mackerel when my folks were up for the visit. and yep. um, I'll sh We'll show you that. We'll, we'll catch a couple tomorrow and bring them back if we can. But actually, that I forgot about the mackerel too. Mm. So five species. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was saying four, but I forgot about the mackerel. Yep. We want to get up early so we can get on some new adventures. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for a little paddle around and try to hit that first light bite, uh, hit that top water fall bite mm -hmm. with some whopper ploppers and get some nice blow ups, maybe catch something big. And then go out and check the lobster traps. Ugh. Get them checked. Lobster tomorrow on the boat. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. That's what I'm happen, or hoping for. Because uh, I can't get enough of the lobster and I don't get over to the East Coast that often. So mm -hmm. hopefully one more feast of lobster. Yeah. I think we let them soak long enough this time. Mm -hmm. They've been in for three days. We should have, yeah. uh, have several. Good. Several lobsters. Mm -hmm. We can eat ourselves silly. Well, I won't say no blood. <laughs> Hopefully we have six like last time. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. I think so. But yeah, I'm ready for bed, so we'll see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Taste test? Taste test. I make it okay. super rich. Well, I like strong coffee. So, coffee time. First night on the pirate ship. At least I got my crappy. So, dinner was good. Mm -hmm. Now it's coffee time. We had a crappy dinner. <laughs> the crappy dinner. But it wasn't so crappy. You. No cream and sugar, sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> I don't see any grounds floating. And, you okay? Yeah. Just I like it hot. Just, just drink through your teeth. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, you got, got a, a fish on there. Uh, you know. ah, got it. You, oh, man. <laughs> that was just in time, it, huh? It took the whole trap. Yeah. I didn't have it linked to the deck as well. Is it recording? Yeah. I'm not sure if I hit the button. Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, well, that's epic. <laughs> Almost pulled his little trap yeah, right did. into the water. Little, I gotta make a deck clip. <laughs> white perch. A nice big white perch. Nice. We'll take that out with us to the lobster traps. Uh-huh. You know? That means there's probably a school of them going through. They give that one over there a little shake. See what happens. Oh, cool. All right. Boy. <laughs> that was close. That was I got close. it. Got a wet wrist, but we got the fish. <laughs> Look at that. White perch, though. These things are. It's a nice meaty fish. Yeah. I'd say that's a decent sized one. I've had one one time I caught, and I thought it was a bass, because it was like this. Uh -huh. It was like two pounds. It was insane, but it was kind of green, so I thought it was like a smallmouth. It was weird. Huh. Well, there you go. Well, wasn't that weird? Right. His, he sees his line I going, did. hands me the camera, and the trap goes in the water. <laughs> okay, I got him. He was just playing, playing. Doesn't feel right. Well. It's oh, crappie. it's a crappy! I got a crappy. Hey. I got another crappy. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Maybe we can have a crappy breakfast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I just seen it barely moving, and he was just playing, playing, and then he swallowed it. That means there might be more. Well, we'll were you right off the bottom? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Well, then maybe there's a chance for me too to get another one. I don't know what it is about this lake, but I like, I catch. A crappie per day. Like I've only ever caught two, 
before here. Okay. Like other people, you see them, they're like, they're like, boom, boom, boom. They catch them. He just swallowed it. Oh, did he? I'm gonna get the pliers, I guess. And yeah, they're uh, dispatch them first. They're right in here somewhere. Oh, they're right there on the counter by the sink. Okay. I'll grab them for you. <laughs> That's funny. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that you ripped his head off. <laughs> now that I ripped totally his head, I can look right there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now we can make some. We just need one more, and we could actually have a decent breakfast. Well, let's maybe get. Better get back. Oh, I lost it. Oh, it came off, eh? Yeah. Just a little bath. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You just sit here, watch your rod, have your coffee. Yeah, like ice fishing without the cold, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I'm not big on ice fishing. What? I, I just don't like standing in the cold, watching a rod for hours. I, after an hour, if I don't get bites, I've had enough. You're getting tired of it? Yep. Oh, I love ice fishing. <laughs> but I also... I like making traps, but that's it. Uh -huh. minus, the, minus the heater. Uh -huh. You know, that ice fishing. Oh, it went. There we go. What do we got? Crappy. There you go. We got another one. There, you there go. we go. Now we got breakfast. One for each and of us. And that's a bigger one than mine. No, I think it's, well, yeah, it's about a, the same it's size. It's bigger. It is bigger? Yeah. Yeah, by like a hair. Only half an inch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, choked it. Yeah. It'll suck that thing right up. Yeah, you just break them and you usually find it. Yeah. There it is. Still need the pliers. It's still like halfway down his throat. Well, isn't that the nicest, most relaxing morning, huh? You just yeah. just catching a fish right off the side of the boat and and just boom, breakfast. Yeah, we got crappy and ah, uh, he swallowed it though again. Oh, I ow. <laughs> Here, I'll get it. I can get, I can get it with the pliers. Oh, <clears throat> well, nice little small mouth. Oh, it's right there. Is it? Yeah, I just oh, can't man. see with the worm where it is into. Yeah, it's in the top of his mouth. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll just let him go, I guess. Yeah. We'll catch him another day. All right, buddy. Boom. There we go. Nicer. Well, still under, maybe just under a pound, just over a pound. Nice small mouth. Who's? What's our numbers now? Well, you're ahead of me. I'm ahead. Morning. And yesterday, probably, you're a couple ahead. I don't know, you've caught quite a few. Well, I've caught a few, but uh, I still I don't know. think you've got a couple more. Yeah, I'm up on I you. wasn't really keeping track. Yeah, we'll have to keep track here in the edit, see what's going on. Well, You always you... beat me, so I, I, I'm on my home turf. I kind of want to win this time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye now. Is there any brown trout in here? Uh, There could be, I mean, because they stocked them up the river and stuff at times uh -huh. so there should be but theoretically they, they should yeah. be in here it's one thing i haven't caught for years eh yeah i have never caught a trout in here though of any kind like i just it just doesn't seem to happen uh -huh. but i also don't i also too many fish, other types well i also fish more bass lures more often than not because i just know that's what's in here uh -huh. every time i put a spinner on it's like it just catches your white perch Fish on. Nice. Did it almost pull that over the side? I was watching that. I was like, nah, you won't lose it. That's a crappie. There we go. Nice big one. Four crappie now. Now that's a breakfast. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Butter's like, I'm going to get it. Nice, see? Eh? <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. So what, we're both up to two each now. I don't know if Too the crappy. camera caught it, but the, yeah. that Greg's had the biggest one so far this morning. And I got a couple of white perch and things and uh, bass. I don't know if the camera flipped off between there, but we were gonna go out in the kayaks, but we're doing good just sitting here sipping well, coffee. I mean, like, what's the point? Let's put another pot of coffee on. Yeah, and... <laughs> we should get the fire going and cook up our breakfast. Nope, white perch. I guess I... Oh, 
Those nice big, big white perch. Oh, we keep that then. I like. Those. Oh, I've been keeping them all because we. They're, they're obnoxious and there's so many of them, but you know they uh, they go good in the lobster traps too, even if we don't eat them. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's just so many stinking white perch here in Maine. And they just, consider and there's no limit on them, is there? No, no, I don't think they're. I don't know if they're considered invasive, but like I think they are invasive. I don't know if they're considered, but that's a tank of a white perch for. You know, a uh, tiny white perch. Lobster trap bait. Okay. Perfect. Just a little guy. Hammering them, but I still think I need a couple to catch up with you. I don't know. I think you're. Well, I've got about five. Yeah, but I don't know. We'll have to tally it up. I think another you're white perch. Another, white another perch. big. Keep them. Yeah, yeah. Heck okay. yeah. They're just like tons of them. So. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, watch out because they got sharp. Be careful, careful. They're gonna get poked. eyeballing butter when we were in the boat. I don't know how sharp this knife is. Let's see. Could use a sharpening for sure. Okay, not bad considering I've got such a dull knife. I'm certainly getting all the meat. You can see there's nothing left on here. Can't overemphasize the fact that when you're filleting fish or cleaning game like deer or moose or elk, the importance of a sharp knife. Now, because I have such a dull knife, I'm just going to use my fingernail and kind of scrape the meat off the skin. See how nice that works? I'm not losing any meat doing it this way. You know, a lot of people that use a knife. And then they lose a lot of the meat. And you don't have to. I mean, look at how good that's turning out. It might take a little longer, but I'm not losing any meat. Definitely takes longer, but now complete skin job, perfect fillet, no bones. I don't want to put it back in the scales there. And have a little bit of the our fireberry. This one's been out here in the moisture. She's getting a little clunky. Manually. There we go. That's a, That's gonna be nice. So there's nothing like eating fish and catching fish at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> just sat down, I, put your plate down I just and was gonna start eating my fish and then I had a fish and he seems to be hooked on something here. Is he hooked on the trolling motor? Maybe. Uh, yeah, he is. Oh, this is a good size. Um, is it a bass? I don't know. Looks yeah, like a bass. Or is it a good size crappy? All right, hold on, hold on. I'll get the uh, I'll get the trolling motor. You just keep hold of the rod. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Butter kit. Oh, it's a, oh. Uh, large, well, it's a uh, smallmouth bass. Yeah. Just see how we're hooked here. So I yeah. think I can get it. Right off the end there. There we, there go. we go. <laughs> That's the biggest one so far, I think. Yeah. There, there we go. go. That's a nice one. <laughs> I can't even eat my fish because I'm catching fish. Yeah, right? 
Uh, oh, he came off easy. You want to keep it or not? Nah. Just, well, he came off easy. Here Goodbye. Goes. See you later. Okay, now I, I'll, I won't fish because then I can't eat. <laughs> Mine, I did on. Greg doesn't like bread. Why don't you uh, like bread? I don't know. I, I eat it some. Well, in sandwiches, that's about it. Yeah, so. Oh. I got mine with the tzatziki on there all rolled up, nice and looking good. It's gonna be good. All right, Lord, thank you for all the fish. Thank you for the adventure. Keep us safe and keep blessing us with more catches. In Jesus' name, amen. If we go out and we can haul in the lobsters today. I want lobsters. And put the, well we are, but like. Steak and lobsters. And we put the stuff into the traps. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, this is quite the busy day of catching a lot of stuff. I mean, we've caught like, I don't know what do you, what do you think like uh at i've least, caught over 40 fish well just today even well today about seven yeah so to together we've caught close to like t almost 20 fish oh today mm -hmm. between the two of us it's, it's more like 80. uh-huh but just in today mm -hmm. we've caught like you yeah know. well i i've caught six or seven yeah and so have you yeah. And then we go out and catch some mackerel and some lobsters. Mm-hmm. But I really want my last dinner to be moose steak and lobster. Mm. It's not that I get sick of fish, but time for some lobster and steak. I like that breading stuff you use. Mm-hmm. That's Jay Seaman's catch and cook. Oh yeah. Batters, is that a spicy one? But you're not too into the spicy I stuff, right? I don't like spicy stuff. It's kind of a spicy flavor more than it is like a super hot spicy oh, yeah. thing. Anyway, Zach, your theory on bananas is totally wrong. Yeah. We've been catching fish and we got a banana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it we did true. a whole bunch. A so, lot. And there now. You go. Yeah. All right. Well, hey. It's a wives' tale. I think it's just something people do uh, do and say because uh, they can't catch fish, right? They gotta blame it on. <laughs> they gotta blame it on something. If it wasn't that, it's because they got a woman on the boat. Or I mind you, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that people like to blame it on different things instead of their inability to figure out the right way to catch fish. Oh here, so we don't lose the peanuts. All right, let's. There we go, and we're off. Ready, Jim? All right, kayaks are secure, looking good. She's still falling apart faster than I can put more of her together. Poor wheel. I have to have Joey, Joseph Fowler Maker, make us a really nice wheel for this, huh? Even the, even the other wheel mount is somehow super loose. I don't know if the nut's loose or what's going on. Oh, there's John, he's here to pick us up. So we could take the truck to the ocean. Coming in hot! <laughs> Ship is secure. Let's go get some lobsters. Okay, we are going out to check these lobster traps one last time. My last meal is hopefully going to be okay. lobster with moose steak. So we don't have any pokey rigs. Oh yeah. That's a stinker. He might have bit it. No, I think I foul hooked him on the side of the face. This is why we need a pokey hook. Hey, well I got one on too. You do? Yeah. Did he bite it? Yeah, he did. All right. I got so one on. these are what we definitely want for the lobster traps. Unfortunately, we'll put them in now that we're taking the lobsters out. <laughs> I, got, I got one too, I guess. Well. That only took five seconds. Yeah, they don't usually bite. So that's pretty special if they that's did. That's a mackerel. Oh, I got you got it. a mackerel. Hey, whatever. I got a mackerel. Yeah, the, the pogies don't usually bite. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I got another fish, too. Let's see if I get one of these pogies, and then that's six species when, since I've been here. Right. This feels bigger than a mackerel. Oh no, oh, I got a whole almost, string. Oh, you pulled it in too slow and now it's all wadded up. Uh oh. Uh, with a whole stringer of them. Yeah, one came off. 
can't hesitate with those mackerel jigs. You gotta straight pull it. Oh, uh, and we had a smaller weight on there. That's probably not good. That doesn't help. The bigger the weight, the less likely you angle it. This is some nice mackerel. Yeah. We'll save a couple of those for dinner. Have one each and yeah. lobster and just feast, huh? Got another pogey here. Just trying to get some video. Oh, hooked it. What you're allowed to do with what the What you're allowed to do. Actually, did you even foul hook that one? Um, well, maybe a bit. Indeed. I mean, they almost never bite. That's why there's a treble hook sold just for foul hooking. Oh, yeah. Well, he came off easy enough, whatever. Yeah. Okay, two pogey. Two pogey. There we go. That's a nice greasy fish. The lobsters <laughs> love it. Boat's starting to fill up with fish here. We got them all over the place. You better go check the lobster traps. <laughs> yeah, we should traps probably go check the lobster traps. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're hopeful. Ever. There we go. <laughs> That's how you get it off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. There's three. Four. Four. Maybe a keeper. They don't look big. Too small. Oh man. Keeper. Keeper. One keeper. Okay, good. Hey, it's okay. One per trap, maybe. That'd be great. Also, we're out female. We're out with no eight. cut. So we're going to cut her fin so she can be free. And she goes back to the sea now so she can have her little lobster babies. Good luck. This guy. I'm going to have to measure him. He's way too small. Oh, you can tell. But check. Just. Yep, still half an inch too small. Back to the sea with you. Bigger one so You're gonna far. You're going to be eating well tonight, Greg. Oh. That one's all yours. It's got your name on it. Okay. Big keep, big boy keeper. Nice. Well, I certainly will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thanks. a nice one. There's some that are too small. Tiny, very tiny. Like these are like Babies. the size of crawfish. Well, that might... one might be a good one though. That might be a keeper. That's, a keep. no. that's, a, that's a, but this one. Oh yeah. That's a girl, no cut tail, no eggs, and it's a keeper. Nice. Check it on both eyes since it's very close. It's a keeper. Yeehaw. That's three. We're doing well. Oh, and one big, big crab. Okay. Are we keeping crabs keep, this time? Uh, keep one. Keep one? All right. Well, just big ah. ones, see? He's a big one. He's a big one. Crab, lobster, and steak. And get rid of those guys. Nice. Stuff in the bags here, and it looks like we missed some eggs, Greg. Oh. Could have had some eggs with our breakfast, some crappy yeah. eggs. Ah, oh, nothing. Huh, who'd have thunk it? Tons of crabs. I wonder, I wonder, you know, we should have kept better track of what we had in each of these. I wonder what we had in here exactly that didn't do so well. Like if we had kept track of it, like what did we put in these bags? Like this looked like really stinky fish. I could smell it. Like there was some seriously old bass and stuff that was in there save the rest of that for the last trap you smell that here come here no you get the full experience come on you're not allowed to haul them you should at least get the full experience and look at like they grabbed the ham bone into the back okay. look at the bag the bait bag was dragged all the way to the back yep. female no notch that's a keeper that's a keeper i'd say that's right. a keeper yep okay, it's a keeper so we got at least six and close this guy's female keeper, no notch. 
All right, we got to. I'm happy. I'm happy. You made my day. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. I believe we got seven, maybe even eight, and two big crabs. Let's go back to the pirate ship. So what's a pirate ship without a cannon and shooting the cannon? We're gonna shoot the cannon here. Like that'll be cool. I'm just looking for the black pearl. Oh yeah. gets old <laughs> look at all those geese that's what we did when we fired the cannon we scared them all off that's one way to get your geese up and moving you want them out of your field you just put a cannon fowlersmakerymischief.com there will uh cannons for uh sale just put one of those out in your yard it's actually really cool i love how do you notice that like the how it really thumps yeah like i mean the fireworks in a little mortar tube are like pop bang but with that cannon, it resonates and it's like... Oh, because it's in that tube. Yeah, it's like kaboom! Yeah. It sounds so much cooler. All right, let's go down the lake, find ourselves somewhere to cook some uh, food. Lobsters. Lobsters. Lobsters on the menu. We have too much fun. Can you have too much fun? Is there such a thing of having too much fun? What does Jim know? Yeah, I'm kind of all fished out, huh? Yeah. What do you think? A little bit. I just want lobster and steak. Lobster, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. Lobster and steak. Yeah. Bald eagle, so majestic and so far away with this t lens, the wide angle lens. Yeah, I said we parked just up here. That's fine. And just call it. Good enough. You know? Get cooking, get the yeah, get cooking, going. get a fire going, and enjoy a nice lobster dinner. <laughs> we're both like, all right, I think we're done fishing. And then, well, you know, I mean, there's water around us. Well, we, you know, I mean, it doesn't, it's not that hard to fish. Let's just put a hook in. And... Well, this morning was great. Sitting with coffee, having coffee. Yeah. And pulling fish in. I'm going to see if I can get something from the upper deck. No bites? No bites. Well, maybe you need to go for a lucky swim. You gonna go for a swim with me? I ain't going it's for no It's November. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. Somebody else was swimming when we uh, first got here, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm sure I'm gonna regret this, but... Uh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I, I, I feel a little, like, a little dirty and clammy and fishy from lobstering in the day before, and I don't even know when the last time I had a shower was, so... Yeah, I'm going for a swim. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not that cold. Let's see. What are you diving What's off it? the no, top? No, I'm gonna check the temperature on this thing. It says it's 58 degrees. That's not that warm, but that's not warm, is it? No. Of course it isn't. And it's 21 feet. Yeah. So I'm turning. That's uh. That's kind of cold. That is cold. All right. You're not jumping off of there, are you? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. What are those guys? The Mexican wrestlers? Sumo? The... <laughs> Thanks, Greg. I was going to say the luchadore or whatever. <laughs> that was refreshing. That was, that was enough. That's enough. Oh. 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 I can imagine. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Actually, <laughs> the smoke's worse than the swim. Oh, well, that actually wasn't so bad. No, no, that feels really good. I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, it's colder the second time. It's colder the second. 
<sighs> okay, that was fun. No, you've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> now you're gonna sit by the fire. <sighs> oh. Okay. At least it's not cold when you get out of the water. That feels good. Woo! That'll wake you up though. That's some early morning stuff. I think we should get up and do that in the morning, Greg. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going <laughs> we to... We don't need coffee. So anyway, um, this has been a very successful fishing trip here in Maine. I have caught six species of fish and at least 50, probably closer to 60 fish. I mean, I started to lose track, but I know it's over 50. I don't like all this activity. What do you think? It'll work. You think it'll work? Do you think I need to make flats so that they don't... I don't know. Roll? It would hurt, maybe, but... Try. Seems like it's setting pretty good. Let's see. Boat moving. Lobsters. Yeah, it seems like it's setting pretty good. Let's see if that'll come to a boil there if we get to lower it down. I think it'll boil there. We could also put the sticks on the outside and let it hang from the handles too. That boil in like five seconds, I bet. No, not five seconds. No. <laughs> Maybe 35? This craft pot holder. Yeehaw. Let's see if that works. Solo stove does sell a grill top for that. I don't know if you could put a pot on top of their grill. I mean, I don't see why you could put a pot on top of their grill top. That should work. Maybe well, one, it will work. I maybe think. one more piece. Get some flames coming up. Really get it ripping. Put a little seaweed in the bottom. And I got one. Two, three. I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. Four. No, we're gonna cut. Five, six, seven. There was seven. Okay, three each, I guess. All right, so we'll just do another thing. Yeah, three or well, four, because four for you, three for me. That's the big one, isn't it? Uh, I think there's one big one already in there. Yeah, this oh. guy. So. We got that guy too, and there's another big one in there that only has one claw. Oh yeah. So we'll have to do two boils. Right. Yeehaw. That's kind of cool. Woo! Hot tamale. Will our sticks last long enough to cook our lobsters? I think so. I think so. There you go. There. They're looking pretty good. Well, it's not just the one lobsters, right? It's well, we got to do two batches. Yeah, we got to do two batches. So I think we got enough. Now we can put our thing on top of the bucket, and they eat them out of that thing. Mm -hmm. That way we can sit it between the two of us and just be like, oh, 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 like a couple of rabid raccoons. Animals. Like a couple of raccoons yep. just going at it. Put our butter dishes right there and just. <laughs> Ripping butter all over the deck, all over. Don't butter flying. There's no napkins where we're going. <laughs> feed tray right there, Greg. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah. Let's pull the antenna. If it comes off easy, they're done. So. Nice big claw. There's still a crab in there, too. Okay, you want well, I'm gonna him in. Yeah, chuck him in. Mr. Krabby Patty. Boom. Want to miss some top? Sure. Look at that. Ah. Not nice. Oh man, big old tray of deliciousness. We just need our butter. Our sticks are getting a little on the thinner side. Yeah. There's still a lot of material there. The second one should be done before it does break though. This thing, I could get it low enough, I could simmer butter without brown buttering it. It's like still just clarified and the garlics continue to cook down. Nice clean butter. Oh yeah. Oh 
Oh, the smell. If you guys could just smell it. If you could smell it. There's your butter. I'll take one. Okay. There's that. This one here. Perfect. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Lord, thank you for the catches. Thank you for this time with Greg. Watch over and protect him as he heads back to the Rockies. And, and just bless his videos as he continues to make them and have adventures and keep him safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, this will be good, boy. Cheers. Mmm. I feel like that's the best ones we've done so far. Oh, that's so good. Oh, these are soft shells too. Those are so good. Oh, they're so much better than hard shells. Amazing. Mmm. Right? The soft shell. There's just a little bit more flavor to it. Just a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. Almost like it's shell being thinner. It's marinated in the ocean a little bit more. People always think when they go to the restaurant, they're like, oh, I want a hard shell. You know, and they think that's like a, the thing you have to have. You, they charge more for them because there's more meat inside of them. But when, yeah. it, when it comes to it, the, the claws are chalkier and the tail is thicker and stuff, but it's chalkier and it's not as sweet. Right. Those sticks are getting thin. Hmm. They're still green, though, so they can't. No. Oh. I think it'll be an issue. I don't think so either. We got still got five more minutes though. Mm, I think it'll last five minutes. <laughs> we'll see. The tail is my favorite part. Oh well, the tail, yes, of course. Mm. The big claws are good though. Mhm. Mm the tail reminds me of catfish. It's like its texture is thicker, mm -hmm. a little meatier. The claws can be a little chalky. Mhm. Mm mm. How many have you had? I just had the one with the one claw, and then and you're on one. your second. Yeah. Mm. All right, I think they're done. The sticks didn't break. I'm good. Whoa, look at that. It's bending. Mm -hmm. It's starting to bend. Yep. And it's off. Just in time, huh? Mm -hmm. We're just starting to bend, yep. Just in the nick of time. Go crab. Another lobster for me and. The monster for Greg. Mm -hmm. Can you do it, Greg? I don't know. I'll start with the big guy. Maybe I can't. Do the Maybe we'll guy? share the other guy. We could do him for breakfast for uh, omelet. Tell you what, I'll do the big guy. We'll see. I don't know if I can do. You don't all. know if you can do all of it. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. He's a uh... big claw. So look at him compared to like the regular size guy. Like here, there's a regular guy. I mean, the difference doesn't look that huge, but it is. It is. I feel like on camera it doesn't do it justice, but... Maybe not. Especially when this crab is so big. You know, but that's a big one. Can you get that one? Yeah. Ah, uh, those hard... Yeah. It's hard, for yeah, sure. That one's a tough one. Mm -hmm. it is. The last two that we're doing here are our hard shells. And... Uh, Very hard to break. Yeah. And I need to take the axe to it. I can't get my tail out. The first I can. I just need to take, you just gotta take your time, and keep working it. Oh, even with the nutcrackers. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. That was tough. There's a nice big claw. It's huge. Mm -hmm. mm. Just enough garlic butter. Mm. Very good. Well, you think you still got your tail? Yep. Are you gonna be able to finish I your see. last lobster? No, that's for breakfast. You got to eat that. <laughs> Not just no. All right, so I'm we got full. one lobster, one crab. Maybe we'll have surf and turf for breakfast then. Do I don't think we got room for. We don't got room for the steak. No. What do you think? I have no room for steak. I'm almost ready for bed too. Me too. Well, it's been yeah. a long, long day. Did a lot. Mm-hmm. And we got to get up early because tomorrow's our last day. And then Greg goes back to the Canada. Have to head uh, home fairly early tomorrow. Yeah. Get the train. And we got to pull Boston. the pirate. I think I'm pulling the pirate ship for the season too. Mm -hmm. Since I'm going to go join Ace, I'm probably going to go put it over at my at my lake mm -hmm. on the trailer and then cover it there and store it for the season. Mm -hmm. We're comfortable though, right? Were you comfortable oh. last night? Oh, it's perfectly warm. Yeah. But butter was shivering and I covered her up mm -hmm. and then she was like Kruh. and then I heard Greg Kruh. and butter's like Kruh. 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 
and the two of them were like harmoniously snoring together. Right on, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for coming down. Yep. Three feeds of this was just awesome. The <laughs> trip has been really good. Appreciate you all watching. It's been a good adventure. Mm -hmm. Never caught this many fish in one outing ever, like in such a short time. Mm. And six species. And we still got tomorrow morning. All right, let's all right. go to bed. Thanks, Mel. enough to wipe the pan down and then we can lick our fingers clean for the rest of it. <laughs> Those of you watching and you're like, oh, it just stuck. Do not do that with it hot. You will destroy this. So heating it up with water in it to scrub it, right? Mm -hmm. You know that. Well, mm -hmm. Greg and I use a lot of cast yeah. iron, right? You don't put cold water or any water on a cast iron except for when you're warming it up with the water in it. Because if that was hot and I did that, it would have ruined this thing. So. You use the pole. Ooh, look at that moose stick. Holy cow. That's a fresh one. Yeah. Ooh. That's huge. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mixed in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We, we didn't have any cheese with us, though, but I think it'll still be pretty darn good. It'll be good. And then we got our steak. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's perfect for a moose. I'm just going to shave it up so it's easier to eat for us. Look at that. Ooh. That's delicious. Oh, special thanks to Aaron for this one, huh? Oh, for sure, I can't man. believe I haven't had moose for a while. That's a treat. Butter's like, I want moose. It's warm. Warm moose. She'll let it rest a little longer. I'm being bad. But we're hungry. And we gotta hit the road, unfortunately. Greg's got to go back, don't ya? I gotta get back He's home. Gotta go home. We only have just so much time. It's been a good trip, though. Yeah. Alright. Plate it up. Plate of meat. And a little omelet. There you go. Perfect. There's your last All supper. Right. <laughs> last breakfast. <laughs> this is the grizzliest looking piece, Butter, so you can have a piece too. Hold on. I'm just gonna hork this right down, isn't she? Alright, Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for this time with Greg. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, All right. moose. Butter, here you go. This is one piece for you. Oh, Make sure you tell Aaron next time. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron, for the moose. Mm. And your dad, David. Thank you, guys. Um. Mm -hmm. That mm. moose is good. Oh, my goodness. That is like... No wild taste. No, none at all. No. That Better flavor than beef. Oh, my goodness, yeah. 
Moose is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Of the wild game. Mm. It's better than deer, it's better than elk. I don't know, your elk is pretty good. But you make it, it so sweet and so tender with the way you do it. That like the marinade. Yeah, I mean it's like it's like a completely different thing. It's like mm -hmm. um it's like candied elk. You know, it's like I'll still take a young moose over an elk. Mm. Over. Salt and pepper. Mm. Don't need it. And garlic. That's it. Oh yeah. No, what I mean is we don't need it now. You did it. No, no, yeah. Like, I got just the right amount on there. Mm -hmm. That's the breakfast of champions, huh? Oh, that's perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better meal for my last meal here. Mm. That moose is a nice change from fish. Mm. But it's like, I'd like to know what more of that moose tastes like. <laughs> okay. Didn't even say thank you. Huh. I had a teacher to do that, huh? But then it would just sound like begging when a dog does it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I wish we could just have a couple more days just to wake up slow, take our time. Well, at least this trip, I did get an extra three days or so. Mm. The first trip that I wasn't able to, or when I missed my plane, mm. it would have only been five days. Uh huh. And this time we got eight or nine, or eight anyway. Yeah, we would have just been grinding hard the whole time otherwise. And had some fun on the ship. I do wish we had had a chance to paddle down the river. I'm curious what would have happened if there would have been a turkey on the shore or something like that. Could have got a turkey or we well you hit everything we were trying to hit. Yep. We got those. Sure caught a got ton you of on, fish. Yeah, got got you on those crappy. Yep. All right, buddy, you can finish my egg because there's no more lobster in that piece of the egg. <laughs> well, it's been quite the adventure out here on the pirate ship. Fishing has been great. Boy, oh boy, that breakfast this morning, that moose meat was just dynamite and that omelet with the lobster in it, I'll tell you. I'll be getting back to Maine eventually at some point in time. But again, thanks for watching. It was a good time really was so I just got back from my trip uh, to Maine where I was at Zach's place and um, I left Boston yesterday and it was 70 degrees Fahrenheit and I get here to Joe's and it's minus 10 Celsius you can see the snow in the trees snow about four inches of snow on the ground this is what I got to sleep in in my hammock now tonight but uh, what a contrast warm weather to winter in the Rockies here we go again I'm ready for the night time Asher I'm ready for night time. Well, that wasn't too bad. You know, this is a thing. You got to have good gear when winter comes around. I mean, this sleeping bag is so warm. Minus 42 or 41 degree sleeping bag. So minus 10 doesn't really affect you much. Um, until it gets about minus 30. I start to notice that I have to use the sleeping bag and put a blanket over me as well. And then I'm still okay in minus 30. Plenty good enough for minus 10 or minus 20 even. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's the end of the main adventure. I had a great time there. There's lots of adventure in the main series. And thank you subscribers. Uh, thank you all you viewers, and we'll see you on the next one.